Digging for a berry bush, Mr. Threehorn? Want me to help pull it out for you? Huh. You think those little arms would do a better job than my horn? Ha! Not likely. My arms aren't little. Mr. Threehorn said my arms are little. Hmm, maybe. But hands are handier than horns, if you ask me. Watch. Horns might be good for some things, but not for everything. Yeah! My turn! Ah! Looks like my dad's right. Your little arms aren't good for much, are they? Oh, yes, they are. Watch this. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall on me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Oh, streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. Shakes, but I'm sure your little arms couldn't start one. My arms aren't little. Come on, you guys. Let's make sure nobody's hurt. Earth shake not so bad. Only a few rocks and trees fall down. I am just glad the earth shake did not hurt anyone. I am, I am. Huh? Hey. Look at that! The watering place is full of, of nothing. No water here. Nope, nope, nope. No wonder the pond's empty. The fast water has dried up too. If you ask me, I think the earth shake made the water go away. The big pond going dry is bad for everyone. All right, please, please. Calm down, everyone. This is not as bad as the time all the water dried up. We still have other water besides the big pond. There may be hardships, but we've overcome bigger challenges. Can I say something, Grandpa? Well, of course, Littlefoot. Everyone is welcome to speak here. First there was an earth shake, and then the big pond dried up. What if the earth shake made the water disappear? Oh. The water is gone now. What does it matter? Because if the earth shake did make the water go away, maybe we can do something to get it back again. Or maybe not. Someday, little foot, you'll learn the difference between what you can change and what you can't. Yes. Yes. Everyone seems to agree with you, Mr. Threehorn. So, 
For now, we'll just make the most of the water we still have. Spread the word. Don't take water for granted. And remember, it's important that we all work together. I still think we should do something. Like what? Well, we could follow where the fast water used to flow and see what could be done. How about it? I will go. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Me go too. I'll go with my arms that aren't little. The fast water had to come from somewhere, so we might as well see where that somewhere is. All right, let's go already. It is very strange to be here without the fast water. It is. It. Ah! Hey! Somebody help! <gasps> hey! Hang on, Ducky! Here! Grab on! <sighs> <laughs> and thank you for trying, Chomper. <laughs> so this is where our water went. All those rocks and trees are blocking the fast water. You think the Earthshake shook down all those rocks and trees? Yep, and we'll need to clear them away to get the fast water flowing again. Well, that's easy. We can smash it down. I don't know, Sarah. We don't even know how deep the water is. Well, I am a swimmer. I can go under the water and look. Good idea, Ducky. But be careful. <laughs> <gasps> Say, what's that swimming thing that isn't Ducky? Is that a... is that a sharply teeth swimming sharp tooth? I can't tell. Say hello! Mo is the friend we made after the Great Valley was flooded. Mo, this is Chomper and Ruby. Hiya! Hello, Mo. Hello. Any friend of Littlefoot is a mud brother of mine. So how did you get here from the big water, Mo? Mo see new land water and hoped it would lead to mud brothers. So Mo swam up it. And then Mo find you. <laughs> oh dear, the fast water must be backed up all the way to the big water. Arrange your us in that big water. Oh, I'm swimming around under there, way down deep. Very, very deep. Oh, see all sorts of things under there, like swimming sharp teeth. Oh, 
those swimming sharp teeth. Big, 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 big water. The very big, 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 big water. We went there once some time ago. We went again when we met Mo. Now this fast water seems to flow from that big water. And mud brothers meet right here anytime. Except all of this water is supposed to go into the Great Valley. It is, it really is. <gasps> You're right, Ducky. I was so glad to see Mo, I almost forgot. Oh. If Littlefoot's walker friends need water, more help. See that big pile of stuff? It's blocking the fast water. Yeah, but once we smash it, whoosh, all the water will run down into the valley. Whoosh. No, not like that. Mo's right. If all the water goes away at once, he'll be trapped in the Great Valley. So will other big water swimmers. Then what are we gonna do? We have to clear just enough stuff to get the water flowing slowly. Then Mo will have enough time to get back to the big water. Littlefoot smart. Those little arms of yours ready to work, Chomper? Yes, they are. This job is for you. I know, I know. My arms are too little. Okay, come on, Chomper. We can do this together. <laughs> Littlefoot needs somebody strong, like me. Come on, we can do it! Chomper! No help! Me too!
I'll be fine. I'm just wet. I guess I wasn't much help after all. Don't talk that way. Stay here and rest till you feel better. Place the rocks that fell. Ugh. Then what's the use? No! My brother's smart! You think of something? <laughs> Spike, this is no time for a drink! No! Spike wants us to look at something. <laughs> so there's water coming out of the log. So what? <gasps> oh, I see. I do, I do, I do. Spike is saying the water dripping out of the log is coming from the other side. <laughs> oh, so we can use the log to make the water come out slowly. <laughs> I'll say it's slow. The water's just trickling out. I think there's a rock inside the log that's blocking the water. Can you reach it, Ruby? Huh? The only way I'll know if I can is if I try. Ugh. 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 You can reach it, Ruby. Your arms are the biggest and longestest. Hey, Ruby! I see the rock that's blocking up the log. I see it too, Ugh, but my arms aren't long enough to reach it. But you could reach it from here. Ugh, maybe I could reach it if I could reach in there, but that hole's too small for my big arm to fit. Well, my arm can fit. Uh, we better get off the barrier. It doesn't seem too stable. Hold on, I think I can reach it. Chomper. Guess those little arms are good for something after all. Good job, Chomper. Water, go away. Mo must go. You're right, Mo. We have to go too. We're going to miss you. Oh, do not be sad, little foot. Remember, we had much fun today. Remembering, remembering is a kind of a helpful thing to hold on to a happy day so those glad thoughts won't go away.
<laughs> so long, my brothers. Goodbye, Mo. Thanks for your help. Hope to see you soon. Me too. And remember. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, goodbye! <laughs> Bye, Mo! Nice meeting you! We better go home, too. Come on. <laughs> Tonight is a night for celebration. The fast water has returned, and we have these young ones to thank. It was Chomper who really helped. Without his arms, we never would have gotten the job done. The young ones have set a fine example. It's a lesson we could all learn. Well, uh, it's like I always say, if you want things to get better, uh, you better get going. <laughs>